Now to problem two. We are going to solve ln of 2j. Basically, we are going to find the principal value of ln of 2j. Let's solve this together. So first of all, let z equals 2j and that is also equal to 0 plus 2j. So we have the x component to be 0, we have the y component to be 2. Now since we are interested in finding the principal value, we are going to use equation 3. So from equation 3, we have ln of z equals 1 over 2 times ln of x squared plus y squared plus j into bracket tan inverse of y on x. Notice that the L is lowercase l. Now let's substitute the values of x and the y into this equation. So this becomes 1 over 2 ln of 0 square plus 2 square plus j into bracket tan inverse of we have y to be 2 over 0. Now let's simplify. 0 square is 0. 2 square is 4. So 0 plus 4 is 4 plus j into bracket. 2 over 0 is infinity. So tan inverse of infinity is equal to pi on 2. So this becomes pi on 2. So we have 1 over 2 times ln of 4 is 1.3863. So plus j pi on 2. And then half of this becomes 0 0.3863. 6932 plus pi on 2 gives 1.5708. Therefore, we have the principal value of ln of 2j equals 0 0.6932 plus j 1.5708. Now let's move on to problem 3. So for problem 3, we are going to evaluate ln of j exponent j. So because we are going to find the principal value, we are going to use equation 3. First of all, let z equals j. Later we can consider the exponent. So this becomes 0 plus j. And then we have the x component to be 0, we have the y component to be 1. Now let's proceed. ln of z equals 1 over 2 times ln of x square plus y square plus j into bracket tan inverse of y over x. So this becomes 1 over 2 ln, we have x to be 0, so 0 square plus, we have 1 square plus j into bracket, we have tan inverse of y is 1, x is 0. 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, therefore we have 0 plus 1 which is 1, so that is half times ln of 1 plus j into bracket. Now this one goes to infinity. Therefore, tan inverse of infinity is equal to pi on 2. ln of 1 is 0. 0 times 1 over 2 is still 0. Therefore, we have ln of z or better still ln of j to be equal to j times pi on 2. So this is ln of j. Now let's focus on the exponent. So using the equation x equals e exponent ln of x, we can say that j equals e exponent ln of j. 
therefore we have j equals e exponent ln of j now we know that ln of j is j pi on 2 therefore the exponent which is also j becomes j exponent j equals e exponent j pi on 2 times j therefore we can simplify this to become e exponent j square times pi on 2 so we have j exponent j equals e exponent now we know that j square is equal to negative 1 so this becomes e exponent negative pi on 2 therefore we say that ln j exponent j is equal to negative pi on 2 so to the last problem for today that is problem 4 evaluate ln of j exponent negative 2j so here we are going to find the general value or the set of all possible values now from the previous question that we solve we arrived at the fact that ln of j which is the principal value of ln of j is equal to j times pi on 2 so that was the principal value therefore we can say that to find the general value of ln of j we have ln of j equals j times we are going to add 2 n pi to this angle so this becomes j into bracket pi on 2 plus 2 n pi so this is the general value now let's evaluate ln of j exponent negative 2j so using the equation x equals e exponent ln of x we can say that j is also equal to e exponent ln of j so we have j equals e exponent ln of j is equal to j into bracket pi on 2 plus 2n pi where n is any integer so to find ln of j exponent negative 2j we are going to introduce the exponent so this becomes j exponent negative 2j so we are going to do same for the right hand side we have times negative 2j so this becomes e exponent j times negative 2j is negative 2j square so we have negative 2 j square times pi on 2 plus 2 n pi now j square is equal to negative 1 so negative 1 times negative 2 is 2 so we have e exponent 2 into bracket pi on 2 plus 2 n pi now let's multiply 2 across so 2 cancels out 2 we are left with pi plus 2 times 2 is 4 so we have 4 n pi so we can simplify this as j exponent negative 2 j equals e exponent pi into bracket 1 plus 4 n therefore ln of j exponent negative 2 j is equal to pi into bracket 1 plus 4 n